Hey everyone, I'm Adam Bombati from the Live team, and today I'm excited to show you how to integrate the Live SDK into your game or app. The Live SDK provides a spectator view of your game, contextualizing what the user experiences by capturing their body directly inside your world. By integrating the Live SDK, you'll enable yourself and your community to create captivating mixed reality videos, avatar-based content using virtual cameras, and smooth first-person cinematics. These engaging materials can be used for producing trailers, creating marketing assets, and encouraging user-generated content that showcases your game or application's experiences. With our software, players and creators can film inside your app and have full control over the camera. The SDK spawns a camera in your game which splits it into a background and foreground, allowing the user's body to be composited either with an IRL camera in mixed reality or as an avatar. This out-of-engine compositing approach offers benefits like optimized resource use, accurate latency compensation, and the ability to add new camera types and effects in future Live App updates. It's important to note that both the Live SDK and the Live App are essential for enabling mixed reality capture and virtual camera features in your app. While the Live SDK is integrated into your app to provide the necessary functionality, the Live App, which is available for free on Steam, is the tool that allows yourself, players, and creators to capture and create content using those features. When filming Presence Platform features, MetaQuest Link is required and must be the active OpenXR runtime. If using a static camera, Steam VR is only needed for initial calibration, but for tracked cameras, it is required to run at the same time as the MetaQuest Link. Let's get started by downloading our free SDK. First, register at dev.live.tv with your work email and create your account. Create a profile for your app, including its name, engine, and target platforms. Under Games, select the profile you just created and navigate to Downloads. Read and agree to the Terms and Service and Privacy Policy, then generate your app-specific SDK by selecting Prepare and then Download. Note that if you create a new gamer app, you will need to download a new SDK. Now let's walk through the installation process in Unity. First, always make sure to back up your current project, just in case. Next, import the Live SDK into your project by dragging the Unity package under the Assets folder in the Unity Editor. Locate your player prefab, then open the original prefab. Create a new empty child game object, name it Live, and add the Live script. The Live SDK can be added at the root of your VR rig or player rig. It requires at least two references to be set up, the HMD camera and the stage. The HMD camera is responsible for rendering the user's HMD, while the stage represents the center of the user's play space and should be moved when implementing VR locomotion. The stage object is where Liv's camera will be inserted, or the tracking space. This means that the HMD, left and right controllers, will be under the same transform as the tracking space, as will the Live camera. Now to assign the HMD camera. In this case, the Oculus default player camera is located under the center eye anchor, so we will drag and drop it here. By default, Unity clones the HMD camera, which might be an issue if the camera contains colliders, VR, or player-related scripts. Set the camera spectator layer mask in order to filter which layers can be visible in mixed reality. You usually want to exclude the in-game avatar and any UI rendering. In this example case, we're going under center eye anchor, rendering, disable the UI layer, copy the culling mask, and paste it to the spectator layer mask. Do the same for the pass-through layer mask, which should also exclude background and skybox rendering. If you're using the Universal Render Pipeline, after setting up the Unity SDK, make sure to click Settings under the Live component and check which render pipeline is being used by Live. The default one is Unity Legacy Render Pipeline. For switching to Universal Render Pipeline, click the Universal Render Pipeline button. You can manually add a script to define symbol under Build Settings, Player Settings, Other Settings, Scripting defines symbols and type live universal render. This is important if you have a custom build script or if you have built on multiple platforms. Finally, if your game is using any post effects, the build may override your alpha channel. So in the live component, you can enable fix post effects alpha channel if that happens. If we were to leave the integration as it is right now, by default, when the Live app and the game connects, Live clones the HMD camera with all its scripts and uses it for mixed reality. This might not be desired because the HMD camera might be using components which should only exist on the player and not on the mixed reality camera. So you can choose to exclude some behaviors from the camera when it's being cloned or you can create your own camera prefab for Live to use instead. For the camera prefab, if you take your original HMD camera, in our case, center eye anchor, drag and drop that into your project folder, make sure the prefab is unpacked completely and exists only on the project and not linked in the player controller. 
rename this prefab to live camera prefab. And from here, you can remove things like the audio listener, disable stereo rendering, and any other scripts that you don't want on mixed reality like rigid bodies and player specific code. Now in the live component, you can select the custom prefab. The Live SDK version 2 introduces support for various features of the MetaPresence platform, allowing developers to create pass-through mixed reality experiences that can be captured and shared using Live. However, there are currently several constraints to keep in mind. First, the app must be run on PC VR with the Presence platform features working. Presence platform requires Oculus set as the active OpenXR runtime. The Live app uses overlays, so Steam VR must be running. Tracked cameras only work with Steam VR. When using both SteamVR and Oculus at the same time, the spaces need to be synced using an app like OpenVR Space Calibrator. Quest scene data must be set prior to connecting to SteamVR. If changes to the scene are made, you must reconnect to SteamVR. DirectX 11 is currently supported, while DirectX 12 and Vulkan are not supported at this time. Real-time composition is not yet supported, so post-production work will be needed for background removal of the live subject. The Meta All-in-One SDK, UPM version 65 and later, is compatible with Meta's Presence platform. To quickly test your integration without having to worry about a complicated setup, use avatars. First, make sure you download and install the Live app on Steam, and depending on when you're watching this video, make sure you're on the correct branch as recommended in the SDK's documentation. Make sure the Live Steam VR driver is installed. In the Live app under General Settings, select Install under Live Steam VR Driver. Launch Avatars on the Live app and under Capture, Manual, select your Unity target and change it to Play Mode. Since your avatar isn't being tracked by any devices at the moment, it's going to look a little crumpled up and sad, but it'll still work for the super quick layer test in Unity. To test the compositing, move your editor to the side, move the game window to still be viewable. Now you can move the player controller around in your scene to test for proper occlusions. That's all for the basics. By adding live support, you'll open up new possibilities to capture and share amazing moments from your app. Keep an eye out in the future for more developer guides that will cover more of what we covered today in more detail. If you need help or have any questions, check out our thorough documentation, join our Discord community, submit a ticket through our help desk, or you can reach out directly to us through support at live.tv. Any relevant links mentioned in this video will be in the description below. Thank you for considering Live as your VR capture solution. We can't wait to see the amazing experiences that you'll create using our SDK, and we look forward to supporting you every step of the way.